हेलो एवरीवन सो कंटिन्यूइंग अवर सीरीज ऑन हेमिल्टोनियन डायनामिक्स टुडे वी विल मूव टू द सेकंड वीडियो विच विच इज जनरलाइज मोमेंटम एंड साइक्लिक कोऑर्डिनेट सो दिस इज अवर टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द जनरलाइज मोमेंटम सॉरी जनरलाइज्ड मोमेंटम सो वी विल स्टार्ट सिंपल फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अ सिंपल केस देन वी विल जनरलाइज इट टू डिफाइन अवर जनरलाइज मोमेंटम सो लेट्स टेक द सिंपलेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ पार्टिकल मूविंग अलॉन्ग दी एक्स एक्सिस विद विद वेलोसिटी वी एक्स और यू कैन ऑल्सो से इट इज एक्सटोट सो वट विल बी द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ दिस पार्टिकल एज यू नो द काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर नाउ इफ यू डेरी टेक डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस काइनेटिक एनर्जी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द velocity coordinate that is the x dot you will get half m so x dot square derivative you will get two times x dot uh, or you can say mx dot mx dot as you know is m times v which is your momentum okay so this is very simple now suppose uh, your uh, let's take the potential v so v is your uh, potential okay so don't confuse it uh, with the, the capital v with the velocity capital v is your potential now say that this potential is not a function of your velocity coordinate where is this v is only a function of your position coordinate okay so the v is basically only depending on the position coordinate not on the velocity so in this case what will happen is your derivative of v with respect to the x dot will be zero so this was very simple to understand now uh, if you even uh, if you t if you look look back at this equation so this equation was basically your delta t by delta x dot is equals to so now me now let me use the different color from here so as you can see you can also write it as delta t by delta x dot minus of delta v by delta x dot is equals to py because this thing is your this your second term is zero and subtracting zero will will change the thing okay so you can write it so this is allowed so uh, now if you do this as delta by delta x dot e minus v Goes to p. Now you can know why we did this. As you know, t minus v is something. If you remember correctly, your t minus v is uh, your Lagrangian. So if I replace this t minus v by l, what do we get? I get delta l by delta x dot is equals to p. So basically, we have found our generalized momentum. Or you can vice versa uh, also write it as p is equals to delta l by Delta x dot. So basically, we have found here generalized momentum. This is the thing we call momentum. Now you can generalize this. Uh, generalize this how by uh, writing. Suppose you have a uh, system which is described by the generalized coordinate q case. So in that case, what will happen if uh, q case and generalized velocities q dots? So what will happen in this case? We will define the generalized momentum as delta l by delta q dots. So all the coordinates will come there. So let me box this because this is the uh, generalized momentum. Okay, what is this called? This thing is called your generalized momentum. So there are various different names for this. This is also known as canonical momentum. Canonical momentum, or you can also say uh, say it as conjugate momentum. Conjugate momentum, conjugate. Momentum conjugate to what? Conjugate to the momentum. Conjugate to the coordinate. Okay, so these are several different names for the same thing. Okay, now you know for a conservative system how the Lagrangian equation is defined. Okay, I hope you remember from the le our lectures on Lagrangian dynamics. So you were well, basically your Lagrangian equation for a conservative system is defined as d by dt of delta l by delta q k dot minus Delta L by delta Q K is equals to so in the conservative system in the RCS you get zero basically okay so if you put the uh, if you uh, if you take this uh, to the RCS this will become positive and you will have D by D T del L by delta Q K dot is equals to del L by del Q Okay. Now you also know this thing. This delta by delta qk dot. We just defined it as pk. See here. So from here, if you replace this by pk, you will be having d by dt of pk 
is equals to delta l by delta q k fine i hope there is uh, no trouble understanding this or this d by dt of pk can be also written as pk dot is equals to delta l by delta q k so uh, previously you had find found pk now you have found pk dot okay now suppose that in a lagrangian l this this in a lagrangian l a certain co uh, coordinate qk is absent so what will happen if uh, some certain coordinate qk is absent in this so in that case the delta l by delta qk if the coordinate qk is absent then definitely the derivative with respect to that coordinate will be zero so in that case you will be having delta l by delta qk as zero or uh, and uh, so your equation will become pk dot is equals to d by dt of delta l by delta qk dot is zero okay so if you integrate this what do you get you will get pk is equals to delta l by delta qk dot equals to a constant so your generalized momentum came out to be a constant of motion okay so whenever a lagrangian function does not contain any coordinate qk explicitly then the generalized momentum pk will be a, the constant of motion what is the generalized momentum Q, pk the generalized momentum pk is associated with the generalized coordinate qk which was absent so this will that will be a constant of motion okay the coordinate qk will then be called as uh, ignorable or cyclic coordinate so that particular coordinate which was absent is called ignorable ignorable coordinate or it is also known as cyclic coordinate cyclic coordinate okay fine uh, in other words uh, you can also say that the general momentum corresponding to the cyclic coordinate will always be constant of motion so let me write the definition for you so the generalized momentum corresponding to cyclic coordinate is constant of motion so in the following uh, in the follow up video that is the third video of the series we will discuss uh, an example in which i will tell you about the cyclic coordinates by giving an example and will show you the generalized momentum to that uh, corresponding uh, corresponding cyclic coordinate is constant okay so that's all for today thank you very much